Hi everyone, another break for the World Cup promo, brand new on jazbeeshobbyland.com, 2018 Prism World Cup Soccer 4 box, random country break number 10, and this is from a fresh case as well. Big thank you to these folks for getting into the action, and there are the countries and the combos right there, and let's randomize each list, one and a six, lucky seven times, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. So after seven times, we've got Stevens, Moody, down to John Perkins, a couple John Perkins. And seven times for the countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one, seven times. After seven times, we've got Argentina down to Austria, Chile. All right, so Moody, you got Argentina. Kike Hernandez with the Japan Korea combo. Moody with England. Josh Proust with Italy, Iran. Peter with Serbia, Senegal, Russia. John Perkins with France. Curtis, Last Bot Mojo, Nigeria, Panama. Marco with Mexico. Senyin, Germany, Ryan, Iceland, Sean, Netherlands, uh, and Morocco. Portugal for Jason Lahner. Kike, you got uh, Wales, Switzerland, and Tunisia. TJ with Croatia. Nick Stanley with Spain. Curtis with the United States. Brian with Denmark, Egypt. Eric Jennings got Sweden. Sean with Poland, Peru. Matt Garza with Brazil. Nice. Carlos with Uruguay. Ryan with Costa Rica. Colombia for Andrew. Jason with Norway, Saudi Arabia. And John Perkins with the last four countries, Australia, Belgium, and Austria, Chile. There you go. Let's sort by country. Any trades? While you are considering trades, let me pop open this fresh case. Right there, Prism World Cup Soccer, and we'll see which, uh, which four boxes we're going to do. So there's four right here, four right there, and four right over there. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this, these four box breaks will be saved for next time. TJ guessing three, nailing it. So let's get these boxes out of my way for now. Knock out another, might be able to knock out the entire case tonight. All right, remember, not every box has an autograph, but it'll either have an autograph or a low numbered parallel, and those low numbered parallels could be just as valuable as an autograph, if not more, depending on the player, of course. All right, I don't see any trades, so we're just going to go. Good luck, everybody. Should be a fun one. Let's wait for that printout. All right. Um, as as most of you know by now, especially been watching us for a while, uh, we enjoy a little. Uh, Little wagering here and there, especially with with the U.S. Supreme Court allowing single game wagering, sports wagering essentially, in the United States now, depending on what state you're in. It's been on everybody's brains the last few months as well. I will have my World Cup picks for entertainment purposes only. My World Cup picks should be here next week. I think I'm going to do the research this weekend. 
and then unveil my picks next Tuesday for entertainment purposes. Now, does anyone have any early early thoughts on who's going to win their group? What sleeper? Do they have any sleeper picks? Let's talk about it. What countries jump out at you? I think uh, I think an early sleeper pick that I have, and and really when I make these picks, I'm thinking more along the lines of I think, uh, more along the lines of value. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking I'm thinking value more than what I actually think is going to happen. So I think that's clear to make that distinction because just because I make a pick doesn't mean I think they're actually going to win. It's just because it's just that hey, if they win, that represents good value. It's, sometimes you have to you have to put down too much on a heavy favorite. And so there's risk there. So it's kind of a finding a nice balance. It's like a case break, right? When you're picking your teams in a case break, you go high risk, high reward, low risk, low reward, low risk, high reward, high risk, low reward. There's all, all, the, all the different rewards and risks. Risks and rewards, the same with case breaks. So a lot of times you're just trying to find some good value for a good price point. Bill Mosher says, France in the final. They're, France are a favorite to win the whole darn thing. They've got a good team. I think Belgium's got a good team. I think all, all the Germany, Spain, all those guys all have great teams. Brazil. And and seemingly complete complete teams as well. Gilo saying, what's the league I should watch if I want to learn soccer? The English Premier League, yeah. I would go with that. Uh, NBC Sports Network has the uh, United States contract to broadcast the Premier League, and uh, they, they do a fantastic job. So they have a lot of pregame shows, especially during the fall when soccer starts. So they have a lot of great pregame shows, a lot of great uh, news magazine type shows. So they then they they do a great job. Good highlight shows, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I mean, just do one of those things where you, I mean, just watch a few, watch a handful of matches, and see what team kind of interests you, and then, uh, and then just follow that team. All right. Good luck, everybody. We got Taylor Navas for Costa Rica. That'll go to Ryan. 47 out of 99. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Bill's saying TNT and TBS will have Champions League next year? Poor Mohamed Salah. I did not realize. That's pretty cool. I'd like to see what, uh, I'd like to see what that coverage would, would be like. There's Alberto Rodriguez for Peru. That'll go to Sean. 008 out of 149. Raheem Sterling for England. Sergio Aguero. Now these some of the, some of these I'll be some of these ones with parallels I'll be breezing by. But th th these will ship. But they're just not numbered. That's why I'm not lingering on them. They look nice, though. Like these. These ones aren't numbered, but they will ship. It's only the the commons that won't ship like these. But stuff like that will ship. And this. And Deli Ali will ship. Big part of the England team. Giovanni Dos Santos. New Era, Mbappe, France. Cristiano Ronaldo. Lewandowski. For Tanyan. For 
Iceland. And do we have an autograph? Is that Luis Hernandez? It is. For Mexico, Luis Hernandez. Marco with Mexico. Let's flip that around. Not numbered, but there it is. Not every box has an autograph, so it's always nice to get one. There you go. Um, I think they'll keep the Champions League song, Bill. I think that's that's something that, that UEFA owns, right? Or was that a Fox thing? I hope they do keep the song. It's a great song. All right, next box. Trevor Thomas is by FIFA 2000, FIFA 18. That's how he learned about soccer and players. Good introduction to the game. Cody Wise says he, he met Micah Hyde, who plays for the Bills. H have you met any soccer players, though, Cody Wise? That's, that's what we care about right now in this break. Maybe when we do Luminance after this, I'd care about Micah Hyde. Right now, I care about soccer players. What soccer players have you met, Cody Wise? I remember when, when David Beckham came to the Galaxy. I saw one of his, one of his uh, first games in here in the StubHub Center, which is just down the street. It was great. Everyone was going nuts. There's, there's like, there he is, Bex. Old Bex. Hey, Gilo, you know what? Another good way to learn soccer? World, Gilo's like, man, World Cup hype makes me want to get into a soccer break. You should. Join a soccer break, man. You might be able to win uh, a spot in our World Cup promo details on jazbeesobbyland.com. You might end up with a group that you could uh, follow through the World Cup. And that could help you learn... Uh, you know, get more knowledge about soccer and international players as well. Ooh, nice, Brad. I'll have to check that out a little bit later. Thank you. Yeah, folks, if you wanna, if you wanna share some of the hits you received from Jaspie's Hobbyland, follow us on Twitter at Jaspie's Hobbyland. Tag us at Jaspie's Hobbyland, and then, uh, and then hashtag Jaspie Mail Day. That's right, TJ. I like that. Yeah, I like I like past tense, Gilo. You got you got to be like I got into a break. Future tense. Future tense is okay. That's nice, I guess. Future future tense doesn't unlock boxes though. You should get it. This break is only sixteen ninety nine. It's not that bad. The return on it could be pretty big too. Hey, I'm just I'm just just trying to help people enjoy the hobby, Gilo. That's all I'm trying to do. You're on you're on the car lot for a reason. No one no one's just here to to, to listen to my hot takes on sports. There's other reasons. This stuff. All right, good luck everybody. Thank you once again for getting into this one. Like I said, check out the World Cup promo if you're interested. Jaspieshobbyland.com is Small little promo for some of the soccer fans that I know we have here. Good luck, kids. Here we go. Like, Morocco's in the World Cup? And we're not? Come on. Come on, United States. Come on, us. Like I look at some of these ran like Tunisia, come on. Tunisia is not a soccer powerhouse. Costa Rica Costa Rica. Costa Rica blue, that goes to who has Costa Rica? I think it's a combo team. Like, no, it's not. Ryan Redman with Costa Rica. Christian Bolaños. 181 out of 199. Like Croatia, they've got a, they've got a pretty solid team. Ooh, another autograph coming. But like Tunisia, and we've got Juan Guillermo Cuadrado. 
Rado. I got to roll my R's a little bit more there. Columbia. That goes to Andrew Hennessy. There you go, Andrew. Nice autograph. There's Joe Hart. Let's see what we got on this side here. And we've got two more boxes to go, and then we've got Luminance American football coming up after this. Golo Kante, uh, Kante. That is red for France. John Perkins with France, with Le Bleu. Thirty-five out of one forty-nine. Jose Jimenez and. Mandy in the back. There you go. Box two in the books. Another autograph, which is great. Remember, this is a fresh case, too, ladies and gentlemen. We've got more in the store, more promos right there, too. Second to last box. We're halfway through. We'll be done with this in about another 15 minutes, and we'll be starting uh, Luminance football soon after that. Um, I've got sort of a spicy take for you guys. As a, as in terms of a value play, we were talking about value a little bit earlier, right? Portugal to not advance is around, I think as of, as of last week, I think they were plus 300 to not advance. That could be an interesting little pick right there, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, really, they only have Cristiano Ronaldo. That's about it. You know, he's getting a little bit longer in the tooth. It's not like he can carry an entire entire uh, team anymore. So, I think that could be an interesting value pick. I mean, you don't even have to put a lot on it, you know. But plus 300, maybe maybe even plus 400 if you, if you, get, if you get that price around there to not advance. Could be very interesting because they're in Group B with Spain. Morocco and Iran. So if something weird happens, like let's say let's say they lose to Spain, they tie with Morocco and they somehow somehow lose to Iran or something like something crazy like that. Then all of a sudden Portugal does is not advancing. It could that it could happen fast. You know? Like, let's say, I don't know, I actually don't know what the first match is, but let's say they meet Morocco first. Morocco's fired up. You know, they beat Portugal 1-0. And all of a sudden, they have to meet Spain in the second match. You know, and they lose to Spain. All of a sudden, you're two losses in. Uh-oh. So, things can turn. In, in these group stages, they're, they're all, there's only three matches. In these group stages, things can turn very quickly. Gilo says, uh, you say Russia wins the whole thing due to collusion? Well, that'd be, that'd be quite the handful of years for, uh, for Russia if they managed to, uh, to influence an election in the United States and have Russia win the World Cup. I think people would be more freaked out about that. Russia should be able to get out of their group, though. Russia's in Group A with Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and Uruguay. Traditionally, the, the host country um, exits the group stage. What do we got here? Uh, Jefferson Farfan. Ooh, these are cool. For Peru. Not for Arthur Peru, but for Sean, who has the Poland-Peru combo. These are actually very short printed. I think they may be even one per case. But I know some of these can go for... I like that llama back there, Machu Picchu. I got. I want to visit Peru. Look at all these. I'm gonna go to Peru sometime. 
Anyhow, that's a nice hit. But no country uh, has ever, or no, except for South Africa. But I think every host country for maybe the entirety of the World Cup, I think every host country has at least advanced from the group. I'll save one of these messies for you too, Argentina. Except for South, South Africa. So in Russia, actually not a not a bad team at all. I think to advance, they're they're minus three twenty five. So actually, a slight uh, decent favorite there. Fifty five out of ninety nine. That's for Jani Sasi, for Tunisia. That goes to Kike Hernandez with the Wales Switzerland Tunisia combo. I like this uh, silver, this refractor there. Cristiano Ronaldo connections. There's Chicharito. He'll be a big part of the national team. Eric Dyer for England. The three Lions. Angel Di Maria there. Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos bringing down Mohamed Salah, destroying my club Liverpool's Champions League hopes. And we've got Ali Malul for Tunisia. 24 out of 25. That might be, yeah, that might be the uh, the low numbered parallel instead of the auto. So nice one for Kike. 24 out of 25. Listen, the crazy thing about this, we're talking about Tunisia. What, what group is Tunisia in? Um... Tunisia's in Group G with Belgium, Panama, and England. Let's say Ali Maulul, right? What does he play? Does he play? I don't know what it, I don't know what position he plays. But if he scores like if he bangs in a goal against like Belgium and beats them like two one or something crazy like that in the first group match. All of a sudden, that card becomes huge. I'm not even kidding. Like there, every World Cup, there's always some dude that like that just ends up doing something amazing, and the, his card values blow up. Kim uh, Ki Hee could do the same thing for Korea. Kim Ki Hee goes to goes to Kike as well. See, you never know. Sixteen out of sixty-five. I like their logo too. Got a nice tiger there. All right, and that's that last box coming up. Yeah, not happy with Sergio Ramos. I don't think it was a. Well, it's kind of a dirty. Green Bay says, no, I saw their test match. Based on that, no one is scoring a goal for Korea. They, just, they need, Korea just needs to bring Goose Hitting back. All right, TJ needs some, some Croatians. I feel like there's a, there's a good, there's an old Croatian population. That, that lives in like the Pasadena area, I think. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. I think Korea is in a tough group. Germany, Mexico, Sweden, and Korea. That'll be a tough one. That should be a fun group, actually. All right. Let's open up 
this last bit. Luminance coming up after this. American football coming up after this, soccer fans. And then soccer fans, you can go, go back to some more soccer. We'll get some more soccer talk in. Got plenty of, uh, I think we have, I think six more breaks to go to fill up the promo. Eight winners. Each one of you will be randomized a group. And then depending on how the countries in those groups do, if they place first, second, or third, there'll be some prizes. Someone's going to win. It might be you. Give it a shot. Promo details are on jazbeeshobbyland.com plus more Prism World Cup, Immaculate Soccer, etc., etc., jazbeeshobbyland.com. Good luck, everybody. Last box. There's more Mohamed Salah. There's Blas Perez. Nice velocity parallel there. More velocity. I like these. Those are cool. Not numbered. Thomas Müller. 79 out of 149 for Germany. They could be a pretty dangerous team there. Vladimir Stojkovic. David De Gea, great keeper for my rival. Sergio Ramos again. Javier Mascherano, former Liverpool guy. Rui Patricio for Portugal. And this should be numbered. Gotoku Sakai, 22 out of 125 for Japan. That'll go to Kike Hernandez with the Japan-Korea combo. That should not be the low numbered parallel though. We should be able to see another autograph maybe or another low numbered parallel. Last shown. And there it is, autograph. Road to Russia, David Alaba for Austria. The Austrian auto goes to John Perkins with the Austria-Chile combo. There you go. Who's, where's, what group is Austria in? France, Austria, Peru, Denmark. That should be a good group. 004 out of 125, Anibal Godoy for Panama. Joel Campbell for Costa Rica. We've got Dani Alves, 133 out of 199 for Brazil. That goes to Matt Garza. Let's see what else we got here. Some other low number parallels. There's Alexander Lacazette. Yeah, France has a pretty pretty complete team. They're, they're, they're favorites to win the World Cup. They could do it. We got 31 out of 40 for Iceland. Johan Berg Gudmundsson for Iceland. Goes to Ryan Redman. Iceland could, could surprise too. They're in Group D with Argentina, Croatia, and Nigeria. Remember two years ago they had a good showing um, they had a good showing in the 2016 Euros, which is basically the World Cup just for Europe. Emil Forsberg and Denmark at the end. There you have it, folks. Now let's see who's going to win a spot in the promo. So let's bring up, make a blank list on ram.org and some, let's get some new dice. So let's go back to the list. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. We've got two more breaks of this. Moody down to Kike. And let's randomize the list. Four times, one and a three, four times. Name on top is in the promo. One, two, three, and a one. Four times. After the fourth time, TJ. There you go, TJ. After four times, TJ is the winner in Prism World Cup number 10. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.